Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you my newest little amp head that I built. Wow. Here it is. <laughs> it's the teeny tiny amp head. You can see across the front four star K. That's for 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for the recent subscribers. I probably need to get into their giveaway together, so just stay tuned. But uh, anyway, I'll tell you the story of how this came about in just a second. But let me just show it to you really quick. It's in this little bitty wooden box. And on the back, we've got a um, the 9 volt uh, uh, tip negative uh, power supply like you would use for your pedals. Four rubber feet on the bottom. Input jack here, output jack here. On the top, we've got a volume knob. We've got a little LED, hopefully you can see that there. And then we've got a power switch. And I happened to use a lot of stuff that I had on hand. And for the power switches, I have these kind where they're off in the middle. So there's the middle position that's off. And you can go that way and it's on, off, on. And um, I'm anxious to try it out here. So we're gonna do a sound clip in just a second. But first, let me show you the inside here. Look at this, I so love this. Look at that little bitty amp board. You can see the power switch there, the jacks and the AC in. And this whole little thing just fits in this little bitty box. <laughs> I went with my wife to a craft store not too long ago and they had a whole bunch of these little craft boxes. And I bought a couple of them. This is another one that I haven't done anything with yet, but I bought a couple because I was like, oh, these are neat. And I thought to myself, could I make a little amp in there? But here's the thing, a nine volt battery, I mean, if you look at that, right? Like nine volt battery takes up almost the whole box. So I was like, what am I gonna do? Well, I remembered uh, the DIY guitarpedals.co.uk. I'd done one of their projects a while back, one of their um, distortion pedals, and they have a little bitty amp board. Here it is, I bought another one so I can build another one of these. But this is the whole amp board right here, teeny tiny, and they call this the Chime Amp. And what's interesting about the Chime Amp is they sell almost all of their projects. You can buy them as a PCB only. By the way, this is a PCB, a printed circuit board, if you're not familiar with that. But you can buy just the PCB, or you can buy the full kit that has all the components. Well, for this one, they sell it in PCB only. That's the only way they sell it, is the PCB only format. So I was like, oh, that's okay. I'll just find all the parts and put it together myself. Well, the majority of the parts, it's got a couple capacitors, it's got like three resistors, a pot, like that's all normal. But when it came to this IC, there's an IC on it, and I could not find those ICs from my normal sources. So I actually had to get some of them shipped from China. So I had to get five of them. Uh, that was the smallest amount that I could get. But this IC, I did a little research on it. It's a mono amp IC and it, it, it really hasn't been used since like the 90s. I mean, they're still used every once in a while, but they were like kind of replaced by later chips. So you don't see a lot of these, which is why they're a little bit hard to find. And I don't think I've made anything to commemorate, um, you know, a subscriber uh, milestone like that since I did the 500 subscriber lap steal. So this is kind of fun. Enough talking. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Okay, folks, I grabbed the Fender Duo Sonic here, got our Chime amp. Let's go ahead and flip the power switch and you can hopefully see the LED came on there. And I've got the volume, I don't know, about close to the middle. Um, this side is going out to the speaker. This is the speaker cable over here. And then this side, of course, is going to the guitar. Very simple signal path. And one of the things about the Chime amp compared to other battery powered amps, it's known for its clean tone. So hopefully you can hear that. It is very, very clean. So um, let's go ahead and give it a little more volume. The whole idea of it is it's supposed to stay clean even up into the high volume where a lot of the little battery powered amps break up. So I'm actually, let's turn it full on. This is full, as loud as it'll go. that single aid it is uh it does got some volume to it um but again we don't really hear here let's go to the bridge pickup we don't hear a lot of breakup tone. So that is one of the things that people like about the Chime Amp.
All right, so there you have it, folks. That was the 4K subscriber amp. This is the Chime Amp Kit, once again, from uh, DIYGuitarPedals.com.au. Cool company, cool little amp. And how much fun is this thing? I mean, really. So <laughs> anyway, there you have it. Um, hopefully you liked that quick video, but uh, thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys soon.